Hey everybody, it's me, John Anthony Chihawk Saltero. I am the anti-hero, and I'm here today with uh, a very special mail call. I thought this was something else, and it turns out this is from a Buy It Now um, that I put in uh, on Facebook. But as much as this is really cool, this is not the key portion to the mail call. But I'm going to go over with you what I picked up. I filled a couple of... Uh, uh, a couple of holes in my original uh, Nightwing run, the run from, I believe it was 96 to about um, the early 2000s, the mid 2000s, um, missing about 50 or 60. I stopped collecting, uh, sadly, once Devin Grayson uh, started writing, and I know Devin Grayson... Um, I like her writing a lot more than uh, I should have given it a chance for. I stopped after the Chuck Dixon run um, where he had, uh, in the 40s, they switched from uh, McDaniel to Greg Land as the artist, and they switched again. Um, but, okay, so these are all sealed differently. So this was a, a $2 buy it now. Uh, so I got Outsiders, number 12. This is also the uh, the early 2000s Outsiders run with Nightwing as the co-leader along with Arsenal. Got 76, Nightwing 76. 77, kind of looks familiar as to the cover of uh, issue seven of Euthanasia. Although for mine, there was a lot more emphasis on butt. Uh, 78, this is a great cover as well. I got uh, G.I. Joe number three, Zartan cover. I believe that's that's a Campbell cover too. So um, this is the second sortie. And guys, uh, just a piece of advice. Whenever you do like a buy it now response, uh, not auction, but like when they do it like a comment and they post it and you claim it, keep track of how many books you buy because I didn't remember how many books I bought. And so it was kind of awkward when they sent me the invoice and I was just like, um, how many books was that again? Cause like I did also didn't calculate the shipping cause I didn't read that portion of it, but a GI Joe reloaded number one or reborn number one. This is a phenomenal Bradstreet cover. Um, Kim Bradstreet probably became really noted uh, during the Marvel Knights run of Punisher, uh, where he was doing a lot of uh, what would now just be considered photo manipulation. Um, and I mean, it's still an art, uh, but there was a lot of controversy about it at the time as to like, if you took a photo and then you put filters on it and you messed with it and stuff like that, is it still really like a comic book cover? But uh, Reborn number two, Wait a minute, that one says Reborn. And these say Reloaded. I don't know if these are the same ones. Huh, I'll have to look this up. It's Reber. Yeah, it's the same artist, writer, so I'm wondering if they started it out as Reborn, or maybe it was G.I. Joe Reloaded, and since this was issue number one, they called it, they titled it Reborn, and then three, four, and five, or two, three, and four um, were Reloaded. That's a little disappointing. This one's chewed up on the corner. Well, two bucks, you kind of can't go wrong. And then Nightwing 117, this is a... This is near the end of the run. Yeah, Devin Grayson was still writing it. I think this is Parks on the cover. I'm not sure. Back this at this point in time, I don't think DC was. Yeah, DC was not um, crediting the covers in the. Uh, credits at this point in time. 
nowadays with uh, DC, which which I really like and I really respect because I believe you should get credit for it. Um, the like variant cover artists, unless I believe, unless it's a ratio variant, like if it's an AB 50-50 variant, they will credit the artist. Um, so like a lot of the R germ B covers, you know, he gets credit. Um, but if it's a ratio variant, I think because you have to buy so many, it's not just widely available on the shelf. But it's awesome that DC is doing that. Maybe Marvel is doing it as well. I don't pay as close attention to Marvel as I do DC, but you know, there's a reason for that even though I'm wearing a Marvel beanie right now. So this, this is the loot of the mail call. So there was a gentleman that I met um, a couple weeks back when we did a, a day event at Harley's Toys and Comics here in town. And there, he lives up in Colorado. He runs a graphic uh, t-shirt design business where he does heat transfers onto t-shirts. And saw some of my work, and we talked a little bit. He picked up my book. Um, I uh, I uh, submitted some designs to him. So, like, here we go. I submitted these designs on Wednesday night, right? Wednesday night. And, I mean, this is just for the test run. They overnighted me the designs, and there's two of them. They're going to be going on pre-order really soon. I got prices to be able to know what I have to charge in order to get them shipped and get them here and get them, you know, at somewhat of a profit for myself. But these are the two designs that I came up with, all right? So let me do this one first because this one is the cover. And I love when you do covers for comic books on T-shirts. So this is the cover to issue three of the Bubba Patrol. It is the Super Duper Cypress. And it is the ASM 300 homage. And it's got the indicia, it's got the price, it's got the rating, it's got the title, it's got my name on it, so there's no question as to who did this. I'm super stoked about this. These colors came out great. The video does not do this justice, trust me, because I've taken pictures and I've sent them. These colors are super awesome. They're super vibrant. It looks like it's the digital image of the page. So I'm super excited about how this turned out. And then this one is, uh, there's a lot of people who've been wanting an Agnew shirt. And so <laughs> this is the one I did that's also going to be a sticker, a die cut sticker. Um, and it's a piece that I had been working on for a while. Um, I'd actually worked on it to be a sticker with the first, uh, when I was first working on issue three of the Bubble Patrol and then lost all the files. I still had this as a pencil JPEG um, that was done digitally. So what did I do? I grabbed the JPEG because it was like on Facebook or something like that. And then I just started, I traced it over in Clip Studio and then colored it and got it ready to go. And so. Agnew is coined as the world's greatest sidekick. He is. So we had to do an Agnew t-shirt. Um, so I'll be uh, doing some pre-orders for these. They'll be starting at 25 bucks plus shipping if you're out of city or if you're in city and you still, you know, want it shipped to you versus uh, picked up by hand. Um, starting at 25 bucks, if it goes up to double X, it's going to be 30 um, but shipping for up to two shirts is going to be just five bucks. We should be able to ship that, um, you know, first class without any issues and get it to you without any problem. Um, so those will be there right now. The images are on the non-con page. The images are on the uh, Bubba Patrol page, the anti-hero verse page. They're going to be all over the place. Instagram, um, Tomorrow night during non-con, I will be wearing the shirts or at least displaying them so that people get an idea of what's going on. Also, um, I'm asking as many of you as possible to share this video and, and tune in to non-con tomorrow, 7 p.m. Arizona time or Pacific time right now. Um, it's a special non-con. Not because of what's going to be sold, not because of what's available. I'm, I'm still going through the same stock that I have, rotating things and stuff like that. However, friend of mine and a hero, uh, 
who came forward in February to help me pay for Foley's surgery to have all the teeth extractions um, when he was diagnosed with cancer. Um, her cat, Tuna, is very sick and she has depleted her savings getting him medical attention and he's still, he's getting a blood transfusion and he still has a lot of things that, that need to be done. And I believe in doing everything that can be done um, for our animals, because they're not just animals, they're not just pets, they're part of the family. And Tuna has two little girls at home too, that he's been away for a couple of days and it's been very hard on them. So, there's a GoFundMe. I'm putting the description or the, the link to the GoFundMe in the description. If you can contribute anything to the GoFundMe, that would be so greatly appreciated. But on top of that, here's what I'm doing this weekend. Any commissions I get, any sketch covers I sell, any single issues I sell, any keys I sell, sets, anything like that that I sell during non-con, off the non-con page, every penny of that is gonna go to help pay for Tuna's medical bills. It's the least I can do to attempt to help not just a friend, but a fellow Bubba. Tuna's a Bubba. And he means a lot to a lot of people. And because he means a lot to a lot of people, he means a lot to me and Agnew and the Bubbas. So tune into NonCon. Just go to NonCon, the online Comic Con on Facebook, 7 p.m. Um, like us uh, as well, like and follow, because then you'll see when we go live at 7 p.m. Uh, it'll also help with invites and, you know, kind of boost the videos and stuff like that. You never know, there might be some books there that you see that you like, or if you want to get a commission or see a sketch cover or something like that. Uh, but just remember, to, this this show is for an extremely good cause. It's, it's, this isn't going into my pocket. The only thing I'm not going to be giving to her is the shipping on these items. But 100% of the actual sales that I get um, are gonna go to her um, to support Tuna's medical bills, which are pretty significant. So please tune in and then check out and share the link for the GoFundMe so that we can make sure that a family member is taken care of and uh, we can uh, help support the other members of that family. Jessica and her two daughters and the other the other dogs and cats that are in that family that, that are gonna that are kind of lost without tuna right now. So thank you so much for your time. Um, and again, stay tuned for uh, uh, pre-sales and, and pre-orders on the shirts. But most importantly, uh, check out the uh, the description below and click on the link and share it. Definitely share it. it does it takes virtually no time to share it. But if you can give a couple of bucks towards the, the cause, I would greatly appreciate that. You guys have a good and safe weekend. We'll talk to you later.